Keith, are you pleased with the uh, performance from the, from the uh, players considering what's happened on Friday? Yeah, first and foremost, we, we wanted a performance. You, know, you can't always guarantee the result, but you can guarantee the performance. And I think it was really important that the lads showed a real togetherness and spirit, because that's what we've been about for the last two years. And um, it's not the first time this has happened to us, um, but you can see the response of the players. I'm very proud of them. They worked their socks off for each other. And we was under pressure at times, and we had to defend for our lives, put our bodies there, and, and we did. And if you're being a bit greedy, maybe on the counter-attack, we could have nicked it. But I think overall, probably a, a draw was a fair result. But uh, it was about the, the attitude of the players, because it's been a shock what's happened the last... Even the, the, the uh, previous game against Southampton, we were disappointed with the performance. So it was important we bounced back from that performance and obviously Neil leaving. Could you give us a timeline as to what's happened? When did you find out that the manager had... Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning I went in for training, um, ready to prepare for today and uh, I got the phone call from the chairman to say that he'd spoken to Neil. So he asked me to take the team today, which you know, I've done before. So um, we met with the players before training, explained the situation and said to them like, we just got to focus on, on the game today because we knew how important it was. And, uh, and that was the most pleasing thing today, really, because of the pressure we've been under to go out there and be really focused on the performance. Um, it could have got us to three points, it didn't, but it's given us a clean sheet and something to build on. Can you just confirm for us rather than us speculating? Have you been told you have a chance of the job and do you want it? No, I've not been told I've got a chance. I've not spoke to the chairman in regards to myself. I spoke to him today, I saw him today. He came and saw the players before the game and wished them all the best. Um, and it's not something, it's not a conversation to have on the day of a game. So um, I'm sure we get over today. I'll speak to him tomorrow. Like I said before, he, he knows which direction he wants to take the club. He knows what I can bring to this group of players because I've worked with them now for two years. I, I, I do know what makes them tick, if you like, and what brings the best out of them. And then it'd be down to the chairman to make that decision. But it's, it's early days. It's only just happened, Neil leaving. So um, I know he's got the confidence in me to continue taking the team until he f makes the right appointment. Would you like it though? Please. I'm ready for it, yeah. yeah. I'm ready for it. I think um, the players respect me. Um, I've, I've done it now enough times. I've managed before. But I also, I enjoy working for the club. Now, it, the chairman will decide whether he feels he needs more experience, what names are available. It, it's, it's a big decision because it's a vital time now. We're, you know, I mean, we're, in a, we're in a relegation battle. We knew that. And um, we've got to continue focusing on that and getting you results. You actually got a reaction out from the, from the, you said the Southampton game was, was pretty disappointing. And yeah. You actually got a reaction out of them today. Yeah, no, that's what you, you hope for. Um, it's not, they're not reacting for me, they're reacting for themselves because they were disappointed with the performance against Southampton. We're better than that, we know that. So uh, we showed today what we're about, I feel. We're, we're solid, organised, strong. And we were dangerous. We had to play Wilf out of position today up front, and I thought he worked his socks off, um, had a couple of half chances, and that's what you want. People sometimes have to work for the team, not just themselves, and we've got that togetherness. That's very honest of you to say that they weren't reacting for you because that would have been that could have been easy for you to say. No, it's, it's not. It's not about me. It was, it's about all of us as a group getting a result for the football club. And that's what it, I didn't go there today and say to them, listen, I want you to go out there for me because that's not right. They, they fought hard for Neil and um, they fought hard today for me and for themselves. And um, on another day, we could have got the three points. Can you tell us when, uh, how long you'll be preparing the team for? Did the chairman give you any indication? No, I don't know. He, he, um, he just said, take the team today um, and we, we start preparing. I'll start preparing now for Aston Villa and then obviously the cup game. So it's a busy period this week. And uh, I've got to really focus on that. It's enough to do to get the team ready for, for the next game. So effectively, you haven't been told when somebody... No, 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 it's, um, no, it's, it's the time scale is, is irrelevant to me. I, I just work from day to day, game to game. And um, we've got to now focus on the Aston Villa game. Um, we've lost Mele Jednak now. He goes away to uh, the, the Asia Cup and... Uh, I thought he was fantastic today as a captain, he, he led by example, so we're going to miss him. So we're going to have to readdress 
the, the team and get ready for the Villa game. You say you were shocked by Neil's departure, but to what extent did you see that, um, you know, that something wasn't right in the dressing room or wasn't right on the pitch? No, I, I, before the well, first half against Southampton, I thought we did okay. They, they scored their one chance really in the game, and it was harsh on us to go in half time one nil down. Second half wasn't wasn't good enough, but before that, we've actually had a decent run of performances. The five or six games we've had, we probably should have picked up three or four more points. Now I know a lot of teams near the bottom will say that, but things have gone against us in the last five or six games. So the the, the lads were working hard and. Um, I think that whoever is in charge, this group of players want to be successful for themselves and for the football club. And it's just a case of who the chairman now decides it wants to lead this group. But how important is it to be, for one reason, like, to be like the fourth permanent manager in the season, maybe not season, basically season and a half? How important is it to get someone in permanent for a, for a longer term period than you've had in recent times? Well, yeah, like recent history shows that they've, they've not lasted too long, have they? For different reasons. And it's not my, I'm not involved in any of that. Um, what I do know is what the foundations are of this football club over the last two and a half years since I've been here. And um, I think the chairman will want someone in charge of the players to continue what we're doing. Because you've got the window opening now next week, so it's going to be a really important month for us. So you're not going to be able to do drastic changes on, on the team and the way we set up and play. So I think it will need to be someone that's confident and happy with what we're about as a group of players and uh, try and get the best out of them. Have you identified players that you would sign if you were given a job? N not me personally, no. I've been involved in discussions with all the staff sort of over the last two months. We're trying to um, get players in rather early in January rather than at the end of January because we, we're going to lose a couple um, going away with their countries. So we're trying to get players in as soon as we can and I've been involved in them discussions with the rest of the staff. So we would sign those players regardless? I think, yeah, I think the chairman knows what we need. Um, there's been discussions with the, the, the coaching staff and the scouting staff. We've identified what we need. And um, I know there's names there. I don't know how that far down the line we are with deals, but the chairman is well aware um, of what players we need to bring in. Just one not, but it's very clear, judging from the fans, about how popular you are and obviously with the players. And been in football long enough to know there's a feeling that if you're the player's mate, how can you want to become their manager? How confident are you that you can kind of buck that trend? Well, I think it's, I don't think it's being a friend, I think it's the respect. I think it's, I, I respect the players and what they're about and hopefully they respect me for my knowledge and, and hard work with them, if you like. So um, you, you do have to detach yourself away from the players as a manager, but I also feel that dealing with Premier League players, you have to make sure that they understand and they're on side with what you want from them. Because um, they're big characters at this level and uh, you've got to try and get the best out of them. And I think that's what you have to try and do as a manager in the Premier League. So th there's respect there between myself and them because I've worked with them now for two and a half years and we've been successful. So it's, it's not an issue I, whether I'm the assistant manager or coach or whatever job title I have. I don't think that will change. Okay. Just, sorry, just one last question about the match, about the penalty, because Harry Redknapp said, um, well, I think it was Fraser Campbell who, who went down in the box at the end there, yeah. and he said that he, he slipped. Is, is, is that correct? I, I've seen it again. I, I think it's a 50 50 one. Uh, I think Joey Barton slides in, um, and Fraser tries to get there first and, and goes over um, Joey Barton. So it would have been a big call cool last kick of the game. I was just hoping that when the keeper saved it, it was going to fall to one of our players. But that's that little bit of luck that we've probably not had recently. That that, that wins you the game. That drops one of our lads. That we had two in there, and and it's in the back of the net. So no, I've, I've got no worries about the decisions in the game. It was pretty even. I felt on on the decisions you made.